Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancers I thought I'd pop on and give you guys a really quick energy check for tonight. Um, just wanted to see what's going on with your energy uh, and uh, yeah say hi I guess give you guys a quick reading. Um, so this reading it's for the collective it's not going to resonate with all of you so please just take what does resonate and toss out what doesn't right. Um, don't try to don't try to force it to fit your world. And thank you, Cancers, for your likes, subscribes, uh, comments, shares, donations, everything across the board. Thank you so much for everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. Yeah, you're leaving and someone's following behind you burdened. Um, I, I see you. I see you kind of strutting, Cancer, going from an, an old past really crappy cycle into a beautiful new one okay this is a cycle that needs to come to an end this last stuff and you're entering the new one brilliantly strong confident looking gorgeous very balanced um beautiful putting yourself out there confident and i see someone kind of following behind you burdened like wait yeah, and you're just, you're standing in your strength and power here. Um, yeah, it could be, you could be dealing with an air sign. Um, whoever this is, they're, they're watching you leave the scene. Uh, they're watching you just stand in your power right now is what I'm really feeling. You're standing in your power. You're standing in your strength. You've made it through the last cycle brilliantly. You know, you may have been down and you may have been broken and you may have been put down, talked about behind your back, backstabbed, um, just people just trying to trample all over you. But you know what? Guess what? You made it through all of that, Cancer. You healed. You bossed up. You're shining brilliantly. The universe has seen all the effort you put in into your healing and and your future. And you know what? Oh, man, you're just you're looking amazing out there, Cancer. Beautiful energy, really strong. And you've got this somebody following behind you all all kinds of burdened. And you've got this uh, King of Swords here. Um, this is somebody who thinks logically and strategically about what they're going to say um they're really good communicators very intelligent this is someone large and in charge could be a business owner boss that kind of thing um but i, I feel like they've got something to say and they're thinking about how they're going to say it because this person's feeling like a fool they could have been juggling you with someone else um got all tripped up right in that mess third party situation crap and now they want to come and take a leap of faith and have a new beginning with you here you're you're already starting a new beginning i feel um yeah i feel like this person's very burdened whoever this is just watching you kind of following following you <laughs> As you head out the door, I don't know. <sighs> yeah. Feel like they're they're feeling foolish right now. Yeah. Here you are moving forward. Um, looking so beautiful. And this person, all they can do is watch right now. All they can do is watch you and and be in regret. Because they turn their back on this beautiful two of cups here. And look at how amazing you ended up being. Like, this is somebody who had a really good chance with you, had you right there. They had this beautiful connection. They decided to drop it for a third party situation. You know, they just dropped you. And, um, and when they did that, you grew and healed and became awesome right not like you were before but you know what i'm saying you bossed up you grew and your confidence strong you know this right and uh they're in a lot of regret you know this is someone who had you 
maybe decided you weren't enough or something, uh, chose someone else, and now they're in a lot of regret. Yeah. They're watching you, I feel. You know, and uh, you're just not even looking. Not even looking. You just keep your face forward. That's pretty much it. And as they watch you, they kind of have these memories of how you used to be close. How you used to be, uh, you used to nurture them. You used to care for them. You used to watch over them. You used to be closer. You know, they're thinking about, as they watch you, they're just thinking about, um, all those things that all those beautiful things about you that they left behind. Okay, being very nostalgic. Yeah, just watching you, having memories from the past, that kind of thing. Yeah, they're in a ton of pain here. They want to take the swords out of their back, out of your back. I feel like maybe this person betrayed you. Uh, they want the pain to stop, I feel. And they, they may want to invest in, into this now, this love connection here. I feel like they want to give something back. Because in the past, you were focused on them, but they were playing with a frog or something. And, uh, yeah, now they want this with you. They want a new beginning. They want to put work into this, yeah. This could come as a sudden realization for this person, or they, they could even have to leave a home or even be evicted from somewhere. I see them choosing a path here. Something could be coming to an end for this person, a shakeup of a foundation or... Uh, maybe it's a sudden realization at the sight of you. They need to choose. Like, man, I need to choose. I want to give to this love. I think they see you, like maybe walking by, or I don't know. You're not looking at this person, but they see you. And they're like, wow, man. I need to choose. Yeah, I think it's something hits them. Something like hits them in the gut. Um, yeah. They want this this person, I feel like they're in love with you. But I don't I don't think they ever told you that before. I think they held that communication back. I think they are still. But it's something about them seeing you and it's a kick in the gut. And it's a man. I need to I need to make a decision about this love, about this thing. What is this thing they call love? What is this thing called love? Yeah. They know now out of all the options like they had. You know what? This I feel it's more like illusions coming down about everybody around them. Um, they're being led here. They're being led. I think this person had like too many people involved here, too much crap, too many options. They got all, sorry about that, my battery died. Um, so yeah, this person, I feel like they got all caught up in partying, other women, that kind of thing. And the divine is trying to show them, man, did these options really get you anywhere? Did they get you anywhere except nowhere? You know, maybe it's time for you to open your heart. That's what the divine is telling this person. Maybe it's time for you to open your, up your heart and, you know, make a heart-filled decision here of what it is you really want. Be honest about your feelings. Maybe let them out. You know, dude, right? I think that's what the divine is saying to this person because there's something about... I don't know if they see they see you they see you and you kind of like it's almost like you walk past this person and they sort of turn their head in your direction I don't know what it is and and then you, you it's like you keep walking right and you're so confident and beautiful and strong and 
It's almost like they're burdened, almost like following you, right? And they just stand here and watch you, but you just you you keep focused on that one path the whole time. They like see you from a side view or something. I don't know what it is, but um, it brings back a lot of memories, and they want that with you, what they had before. And it's like, a, a man, I gotta, I gotta make a decision. I gotta make a decision because I really want to give to this. Yeah, it's getting intense. I, I feel. All right, what else can you show me? Give me just like one or two more cards for Cancer. I really just wanted to give you guys a quick check. I don't know who this is gonna resonate with. I feel like then you get in your car and you leave. You get in your car, the chariot, and you leave. And then this person is in a lot of regret, maybe, because they didn't talk to you. I don't know, something about it. Yeah. This is somebody who sabotaged you in the past. They watch you now, and they've watched you become an empress. That's you. This is you. And this is you. That's how this person sees you. And like, I feel like they physically see you. Like maybe they haven't seen you. Because I'm. they're looking here as you walk by. They're watching you here. Uh, seeing you leave. Get in your car and leave. And them instantly, like a kick in the gut. Regret. Oh my God. I have to make a decision regarding this empress. Yeah. Anywho, Cancers, listen, that's just been a really quick energy check, man. Um, I hope this helps. I do. I hope it resonates. And um, yeah, the energy is just getting kind of intense. So I keep checking back, right? Um, but anyway, Cancers. <laughs> I love you. I love you guys so, so much. Um, if you like this video, click that like button, guys. It really helps the readers, you know. And uh, subscribe to the channel if this is resonating and you like the vibe, right? And until next time, Cancer, take care of you and peace out.